Hello, this is Alex from the Symnotics, and we're going to talk about something today that isn't like the sexiest tech that you can get, but is something essential that I think a lot of people should be interested in if they knew what it was. And that's a uh, travel router. This one's from gl.inet. It's the Opal Travel Router, and this is something that I've been using when I've been traveling this past year that I do think you don't know you need it until you've used it and know what it is. So let's talk about this right now. I, I guess the first thing I should do is try to explain what a portable travel router does. So what is a router? Everybody who needs to go on the internet at their house has a router. That's how you access the internet. And at your own home, your own router is your router. So you control uh, and you get to see what all the activity of whoever's using your Wi-Fi or your internet uh, you, you get to see all of it. So think about it this way. If you go to a public space like McDonald's or Starbucks or a hotel and you use their Wi-Fi, they, as the owners of the router that you're actually using their Wi-Fi off of, they can see everything you access. Now, let's say you get one of these things, this Opal travel router. You essentially have your own router that's piggybacking off of their router and their Wi-Fi, and it essentially gives you that control back, that power back where you have access to your information. Uh, and it's basically a secondary router. That's the great thing about it. It's a router you can take anywhere to make sure that you have your information in your own hands. So turning a public network into a private Wi-Fi, your own personal private Wi-Fi for you and your family to use, I do think it's very beneficial. So this specific one is the GL.inet. It's a pretty big brand that you see on Amazon all the time. Um, they have a bunch of products, but this one's a really affordable one. So let's actually take a look really quick at what it actually provides you for a router. So this thing has two gigabyte LAN ports, one gigabyte WAN port to wire in. There's also a uh, USB 2.0 port next to a USB-C power port on the back. So not a huge selection of ports, but it's the bare essentials that you do need. And I do think when you're traveling, that's enough to get what you need done if you want to jack in. I do like also the compact nature of the Opal. It fits basically in the palm of my hand and uh, the two antennas fold up and they can fold back down when you're sliding it into your bag. So it's very smooth and compact. You can slide it into any sleeve or anything you use. It only weighs 145 grams as well. It's basically non-existent when you uh, throw it into the bag and compare it to a lot of the other accessories. In fact, some of the power bricks are, I would say, uh, heavier than this. So the Opal can push wireless uh, speeds up to 300 megabytes on a 2.4 gigahertz band or 867 megabytes on a 5 gigahertz band. I was able to get about 30 megabytes uh, download on the 2.4 gigahertz band and about 50 megabytes download on the 5 gigahertz one. Off my actual router at work, um, the unsullied Wi-Fi connection hits about like 120 megabytes download. That does seem to be a good representation of what this router can kind of do as a middleman. One thing I did come across that I, I do find a little difficult during my travels actually using this every single day. Um, although it does its job, the setup is not that easy. It, actual configuration to get into the Wi-Fi, it, it could be better. So this particular one, I, I do think because of its budget nature, uh, there's no physical app. Uh, there's no app on your phone that you can control all of this. You actually have to log into the network uh, to configure the Opal. And anytime you do something like that, it does make it a little bit of a confusing experience, especially for people who aren't used to doing things like this. And even when you are, without a dedicated app, you do need to go into a browser and you do need to go into these, type in the IP address into the web browser. It's not an easy, simple way to do it. Uh, something like at a Walt Disney World hotel, which I was at, the browser sign in for the room uh, for the Wi-Fi conflicted with the setup process of the Opal. So I couldn't use this in those Disney hotels. In the Hilton I stayed in Tampa, though, it worked with no issues. I was using the Opal for uh, three, four days with the hotel Wi-Fi, easy login, everything worked. But... Basically, a dedicated app for this purpose would make things a lot easier and smoother. And I, I, I do think it's actually something that could be done on a budget there. Now, there are other cool things that actually built into this router. I actually already have a VPN on my phone that I use. 
but this router has a list of configurations for VPNs affiliated with this project. Uh, once again, I use a VPN on my phone and my laptop, so I don't utilize this function, but you, if you have a subscription to one of those VPN services, you can actually dump it onto here. Uh, another, I guess, bragging point is it supposedly can handle up to 50 devices at one time. You can tether 50 devices at one time. I maybe have 50 devices, but I, 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 I did not test this with 50 devices, okay? I, I did it with, I think, three Macs at a time, my laptop, my tablet, and my um, um, phone. So, I mean, those, I think, are a majority of things you would take to travel you would use. I don't know how you would bring 50 different things to Tether. Um, at most, probably like 10 or so if you were traveling with your family. But um, 50 devices at a time using 1 gigahertz dual-core CPU, according to the company. So overall, I do think this is a really good travel router. It's a good portable, small, compact device. All these small words and adjectives I'm throwing in there because it actually does what I wanted it to do. It's something that I could fit in the palm of my hands, set it up in a hotel room, forget about it. The only thing is, it is a little difficult to set up. It's a little annoying to set up, I would say. But otherwise, everything else about it, it's affordable. It's decent looking, if that matters to you. And it has enough functionality in terms of ports that you could get what you need done on the go. So I do think it's a good partner for travel junkies or just people in need for more protection of their data. The other day, my house was leaking and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do about this. I'm a tech guy. I only know tech. So how do I fix that? And then you subscribed and you fixed it. So thank you.